Thank you very much, Johnny. Tanner, obviously back in uh, Wrigley Field, a park that you know pretty well. You've been here a few times as a pitcher. You've been on the mound here. Are the emotions still pretty high when you, you come back here and, and pitch in the ballpark that you grew up near? Absolutely. Especially, uh, you know, it's just surreal growing up being a Cubs fan and then actually being in the, in the stands or in the bleachers, watching the Cubs, and then now pitching on Wrigley Field and against the Cubs. So it's very surreal. Um, what also makes it is uh, my, the hometown that comes out that you'll see the, pur the purple and white, the sea of purple and white. So they'll be scattered here throughout the rest of the series and stuff like that. But Sunday, hopefully, uh, I know there'll be, a, there'll be a big turnout. They always come out in full force to support you. Does that, does that affect you in any way when you know you have so many people that are coming out to watch you pitch, or is it just another start? Um, I mean... It would get me amped up like in the previous starts, but I think I've, I've learned to just calm it down a little bit and, you know, you know, to stay focused and, you know, uh, of course I always hear them, but, you know, it's, it's always, it's always motivation. What do you make of just kind of the changes to, to this ballpark? We've seen it, uh, a lot of different things come in over the years, the boards that are behind us. Yeah. Um, what, do, what do you think of how Wrigley Field has grown, has changed? It's gotten uh, a lot bigger. You know, I remember coming here when I was a kid and, you know, the, the troughs in the bathroom, <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, you know, they've they've done a really nice job for I mean, how for how old it is, you know, they've they've maintained it very well, and you know, just uh, just the past that's that's been here is just it's incredible. Now, for you, these last few starts have been fantastic, and not to in any way put down your past success, which has been strong. Mm -hmm. What's been so effective for you over this this last few starts when you've really been throwing the ball so well? Uh, just. You know, conviction, execution on your pitches. You got to take one pitch at a time. Um, you know, you can't worry about if there's a blue pit or a broken bat single or an error or something behind you. You know, you can't let that bother you because you made your pitch and somehow found a hole. And it's a hit. It's a hit. So, you know, you can't let that worry about it or let that bother you. And then you got to go out there and get the next guy and execute that pitch that you think you, that needs to be thrown. And, uh, you know, hopefully get a double play or whatnot. So it's, it's all about execution, staying in the game, staying focused, staying, you know, it's mental. That's what I think all, most of this game is all about. I remember you saying that when you came up from the minors as well, that that was a big kind of hurdle that you overcame. And, and Mike Maddox has been working with a lot of pitchers on the mental side of things. What type of an impact has he made on you on this pitching staff overall? Um, he's very, uh, he's like, he's a philosopher, you know. He, he's a... Uh, He's very mental, you know, because, like I said, this game is all very, 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 very mental. And, uh, you know, it's a long season, and you could get frustrated. You could have bad spells, just, you know, just like guys at the plate that go over for a while and get in a slump. The pitchers can do the same exact thing. So you can't let one outing speak for the rest of your season, you know. So you got to just brush it off, and you got to be ready to go to the next game. And that's what he's all about. And, like I said, he's all about executing that one pitch that is called at that time and making sure it's with conviction. Thanks for the time, Tanner, and hey. we appreciate uh, you being here, and we look forward to hearing all your, your crew out there on Sunday. Oh, I can't wait. Thanks, Dan.